You probably could open that suction port a little bit, blow it out. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Don't do that, I guess. We won't show that. This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, we're gonna change us a compressor today here on the racks. I can't even operate this no more. Ah, oh, man, we ain't old enough. Shit, Not let's go enough. home. Which one you want? Man, oh man, look at you go. Where'd you get all those at? Dude, I come prepared. I'm glad you do, because I didn't have one. I don't fit very well. You gotta get yourself a crowbar and crank it in. So, this bag makes everything so much simpler. We'll just go ahead and throw our contactor. Very cleaner. Oil float. New screen, because this was really jacked up. And new glasses. Shouldn't be too bad. Get that strapped up there. That's the one we're changing right there. Go ahead and lift it up. Better if the lights weren't slip off. The lights got broke. Nice. So he broke the switch. Yeah. Hats on backwards, we need business. this just because we've had several of them starting to fail lately and just to be proactive we're just going to put a brand new one on there the rookie forgot to take the pressure off the uh off the uh compressor there i did not even think about it i thought you already would have known that man it's all right good thing you don't wash your own clothes <laughs> Everything unhooked? Should be. Why they is when we pick it. You gotta be careful with that. You wanna hold on to that back there? I 
think I've been in a chain hoist any day. Working pretty good. Got a couple cables there. It's a little bit, a little wacko, but you know. tilt it back won't be as much oil. port a little bit, blow it out. Whoa, stop, 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 stop! Don't do that, I guess. We won't show that. It's gonna leave the rack a little bit low. That's probably, we're basically changing oil. That oil's came back and dumped. There you go.
good size holes. We're not putting it on the face like the last size hole did. Yeah, what he said. Only on the threads to keep them from uh, twisting. Undoing. Of course, there's crap in there from the last idiot, but we didn't. We know I've never used that blue shit in probably 25 years. I already verified this was dead, so if you're wondering, it is. That uh, looks like a new contactor from like uh, less than this year. But if we by chance lost one of the terminals in a single phase, that could be why we lost the compressor. So that's why we're not taking a chance. <laughs> Don't look too bad. Uh, you, you yanked too hard. <laughs> he man. That just heavy. I wonder how much that weighs. It's got to be 300. Alrighty, we've got her back into place. There we go, perfect. There we go. Okay, ladder runs. Fuck, why did somebody design this a little better? This is stupid. <sighs> Ready to take her down? This thing's about dead. Hang to the left a little more. There you go. Get her, get her, got her. Pulling with the big hoses today, the big hoses. Change 
PhDs a week ago when it burned out. So we had a hellacious pressure drop. We're just gonna go ahead and change them again. Since hopefully it caught some crap after the burnout. So you can see the screen, I cleaned it a lot better than it did originally, but it needs a new one. And see, we got a new one right here. We'll make sure we put it in right, because whoever did the last one didn't. And I just replaced all these seals here. desiccant and get any loose crap off than to let it get in the system and possibly float around to my valves and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm not supposed to touch it or whatever, but it'll be all right. That screen there like that. Like that, so it doesn't get blown through. And this comes in. six days. I just replaced the seal in here on the inside. Should be hopefully okay. Hopefully I don't got no dust in my uh, nylog, kind of holding it in there. Now I'm not gonna tighten it all the way up. I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit to get it started. And then we'll use a torque wrench on it. 30 pounds. Try 
tried to pull a vacuum on it, but the bleed is just like the bleed a hose. Now we can open this up. We'll clean up our mess there, that way we don't leave oil all over and you'll know if it's a new oil leak. Good, bad. I wonder if we got problems with the uh, oil separator. Unless we got a shit ton of oil, one or the other. I mean, it looks like oil, but maybe that's refrigerant. We should blow some out. See the blue mark here? One. Two. Let's go three. It was factory set at five. The last time, they went way too dang high. because it was so overfilled. The other compressors all seem like they're pretty close. All right, that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. Everything's ready to go and everything's working good. We checked all the alarms, everything's leak free. So on to the next one. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Later.